If you're an absolute beginner, you'll want to have checked out lesson two, the strumming lesson, playing on the beat from my beginner's course, if you haven't already. Uh, if you've done that, this is going to be really similar, but there's a couple of things that you should know. Firstly, that count of one, two, three, four that starts every one of my, the drum beats available on my website isn't there in real songs generally. It generally gets taken off. So therefore, you cannot play along to the first second. As soon as you press play, you cannot join in that quickly. And that's not what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to listen first and then join in. Now take song one from my beginner's course, which is called For What It's Worth by a band called Buffalo Springfield. You may have seen the video already where I teach that song at the end. It may be how you found my lessons initially. Now that song is a bar of E and then a bar of A for the vast majority of the song. And the way I teach it to my beginners, we just stay playing E and A for the entire song so that we can get a handle on joining to the record. Now the first sound that you hear in that song is one strum of the E chord. And the second main sound that you hear is a, a strum of the A chord. Both of those happen on beat one. For example, E, two, three, then A, two, three, four. So we have to listen to those two sounds, the first sounds that happen on the record, and then join in from the next E. And then from there, you just do your same routine as if you're strumming on the beat again, or doing whatever strumming pattern you you know how to do, whichever one you can manage. Let me give you an example of that now. So if I just put the song on, 